Hey, got to show you something. See this? Ben Roberts, Heritage Poultry and Eggs. For size, for sales, for size. Oh, yeah, this is like a French ad, so they, they have those French names, uh, Missouri. Um, local pasteurized soy-free eggs. I'm on this kick lately with soy-free because, you know, all the soy that you get, whatever they say, you know, it's all that GMO stuff. And look at beautiful eggs, beautiful eggs. See a beautiful egg? See, and look at this nice boxes here. Look at this, this cardboard boxes here. I really, I really like it, you know. But currently, I'm gonna boil about four eggs because I break my fast. This is a Monday. I, I don't, I don't, I, I fast on Monday all day long. And right about to, actually, technically, at six fifteen, I can break the fast. But I usually go much, much later than that, you know. And uh, but I want to show you that. I'll get back to that in a second. Don't worry about the fast. It happens every Monday. I'll tell you about this. Huh? Look. They had a little thing in the in the petrol. I, I noticed this box right away. I said, wow, this is an interesting box. Omega-3, no hormones added, pasture-raised hens, no GMO grain, no antibiotics, soy-free. Hey, man. Wow. They even give you a little map to show you where on a, on a, a place in Missouri where it's from. Yeah. Hey, look at that. Should I give them a look? Hey, look, call them. 606 466 Zero two three zero. Hey, give them a compliment from me, Kate, from the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet. Well, they won't know who I am. But um, anyway, look, they put this little thing in there. And I was curious because I read, you know, so I'm reading this thing here. Here's this. I got to put my reading glass on to read. Ben Roberts, Heritage Poultry and Eggs. First of all, I would like to apologize to all my valued customers for temporarily using styrofoam egg cartons. My egg cartons issued my egg carton issues uh, started last year when the company I purchased pulp egg cartons from sold to a larger company. Then the new company stopped the production of pulp egg cartons. This is America. What happens? Get swallowed up. They change the game. The people that swallowed it up. They have no, I say, uh, allegiance to local stuff or sensibilities of the people that they're supposed to be, you know, catering to. Hmm. My 18th pack was the first to go. Then during the COVID-19 shortage, I used all of my pulp carton in inventory. That left me only one choice, styrofoam. Now with the help of customers, friends, and neighbors, we have designed a totally new, very attractive 100% recyclable egg carton with 18 pack and new six pack soon to follow. Thank you for your patience. Bob Roberts, he signs it. As uh, Benjamin Roberts, yeah, bunch of 13 at iCloud.com. I'm going to write this guy and say, thank you. You know, I support you. He's local. And his friends, the local people got together and say, hey, psh, principal. Hmm. Oh, by the way, this Monday, like I say, I, I fast on Mondays. And so I make, but I make a smoothie in the morning, you know. And then, you know, I, I, sometimes I sip it all day long. Most of the times I don't. So, you know, I made a smoothie in the morning. But this was made out of, oh, guess what? I used the rest of my uh, goat milk yogurt. See, I used the rest, you know, humane raised handled goat milk, goat milk yogurt. I used to rest, well, I had a little bit left, you know. And I put some, uh, I had blueberries, you know, I frozen blueberries that you get in the thing. And what else, what else I used? Blueberries. Uh, of course, I had my moringa powder and my, my buffered vitamin C. That's the, you know, and I usually put that in stuff. I put, I put moringa in everything, just the way I is. Um, what else? I put some, oh, banana. The banana was going really bad. I threw the banana in there. What the hey, you know. And I forgot what else. Probably some, oh, yeah, I put, I got some, um, oh, a little bit of pomegranate juice. Just a little bit. Oh, and, that, and the other thing, that uh, Nora, something like that, some some concentrated stuff. You're not supposed to take a lot of it. mess up your kidneys and stuff like that. I, I use it very sparingly. And then I got some, uh, that was it. But then I had this other some some other little juice. Mm. I like it. 
I take that on because talk about principle. Now, yeah, principle. You know, Ben Roberts, he's principle. So am I. And you know, like they say, you know, the 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 the, the, the uh, what do you call it? these political parties? I hear that the the the, the RNC, the Republicans, the Repubs are going at it now. They done abandoned their peoples too. What is the matter with these folks? I hear they're into like yachts and and rich people. No yachts and something else they're into. I, I, I don't really follow it. You know, I gotta ask my. I, I've been talking to this uh, Republican guy, this Trump guy, so I have to ask him later on in the week what what, what the heck's going on. But you know the Dems. Oh, you can forget them. They done abandoned everything. 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 The the the, the, the Democratic. Well, people won. They though. They against. I mean, everything. I don't. I don't even go down the list. It, it's every everything that you want. <laughs> they don't want the, the Democratic National. Um, the Democrat National Committee. Whatever those people. Are. So at this moment in time, unless it were, I can't say like that. At this moment in time, it looked like. And did you notice? I, I get to YouTube, right? And so, uh, what's that by, by my ex-Congress, uh, my ex-Senator uh, Schumer? He's not wearing his glasses. He usually had the reading glasses go like that. He's not wearing them. He's getting in his face and hey, we, no, he says, you, we need you. We got some money that we need you to send to us, the Senate, because we have an important thing happening. First, he was saying like, we got a midnight, 12 o'clock deadline. Then like days later, he said, no, we need you now. The donor money that we get from the people that, that that pull our strings and don't do what you want to say, well, it ain't enough. We want more, more, and we want it from you so we can say we got it from you. I ain't gonna say nothing. He he's just as clown. He clown. He he's clowning like 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 the Duff man is clowns, man. You know. Anyway, so I wrote I wrote this a few days ago. It's up on Instagram. This the whole thing. Oh, you don't worry about Instagram. And uh, I want to read it. I'm going to read it to you because at this moment in time, because things change all the time. Here's what I'm. Here's what I wrote. Okay. And it has to do with the elections, but actually, it has to do with some other people's. You know, there's this whole class of people. Oh man, there's this whole class of people. You know, when it, in the when it was 68, 69. We uh we took over Bronx Community College, and one of the, one of the de demands we had is to have you know uh, instructors, you know uh, lecturers, uh, what do you call that, uh, you know professors that were black. We want black studies, you know that's what we wanted, you know. And since then, a whole class of black, you know, black uh, people in academia have have come along. Um, in fact, the last year was it the last year when they had that the, the big uh, the, the the fire thing. Anyway, when I say the fire thing, it was this thing called fire. It's a poet thing. It's a poetry thing that happens every year, you know. And they had it at the at the African American Museum and National, whatever, whatever, you know. And I, and I was there, and they had these panels in the day. And one of the panels I had, I asked them. I said, I said, oh, I said something about you know, well, uh, you know, uh, uh, what do you think about a net? What do you, but, but you know, but what about ADOS? Basically, what about ADOS? You know, American descendants of chattel slavery, or American descendants of slavery. I say North American descendants of chattel slavery. And they played dumb. These are academics. They played dumb like they didn't know what I was talking about. You know? I said, hmm, this was last year. I said, okay, okay, give them some time. What the heck? And then I saw, then then I listened to, uh, should I mention? Yeah, I mentioned it. Then Karen Hunter, right? She has a, she's an old time journalist, you know, print journalist, the, the radio, whatever, like that. She's on there. I listened to, I just listened to uh, Professor Carr every, uh, her, her class with Carr, you know, uh, Dr. Dr. Greg Carr. On Saturdays, you know, I, I, I check it out because I'm, I'm, I like history, you know, you know. Then they they go in on reparations, went to this whole thing. Like, What's the matter with them? They find out, but this this boy is some organization that's been doing this stuff for years or whatever happens. So so and, and plus, you know, they're they're shilling for the Democrat too. So I uh, so anyway, <coughs> responsible to all that. I hear the doggy. Uh, the dog got away. The responsible responsible to all that stuff. I decided right to write something, you know. Here's what I wrote. In the claim of reparations, to whom, for what injustices have been done to said grouping of people needs to be addressed. Okay? The scheduling of a debt due North American descendants of chattel slavery, the institution, not the condition, specific to the United States of North American government. 
Okay, so it's a claim against, you know, the American, not against, but saying the American government's got to do what they got to do, like that. Hey, doggy, you're in here now. Hey, I'm busy. I'm working. So I'm talking to people. Um, but you see, I'm, I'm framing it this way because you don't have to be accurate because you know, we accurately said that this is North American descendants of, you know, child slavery. It's very, very specific there, right? and should only be brought to said government by citizens of that specific circumstance. Citizens of the United States government, you know, hey. you know, the U.S. government, you know, they, they did it. They got to, they got to, you know, schedule it that due. You say, wait a second. That ain't the U.S. Yeah, they wrapped themselves in the American flag. Hey, you know, we're, we're black, you know, we're, we're black liberationists. We're, you know, we're Pan-Africanists. We, 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 we don't, the American flag done us so bad and blah, 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 blah. They forget the tradition. Like, you have to understand, the black liberation flag, you know, the Marcus Garvey flag, that didn't really take off until the 70s, you know. Before then, the civil rights movement, all that stuff, everybody was into this. You know. Anyway, don't want to get into that. And plus, you took do you realize that it's difficult for the American flag to go against the American flag? I mean, you show a Pan-African flag or a red, black, and green flag, they say, poof, you ain't even got no army. But how's the American flag going to go against the American flag? Let's think about this for a second. I'm just, I'm just, it's just an observation, you know? So I rock everything. The work, knee research. From pre orature Kali has doc uh, Kali has Kali House documents onwards. Now, let me explain that. The work that could be work is that term. Yeah, you gotta do the work, right? Meaning the research, right? From pre Kali has, in other words, re nice reference orature. Orature is it's like, you know, before we wrote stuff down, you know, the tradition, especially black people, the tradition, right? Our tradition is. Oral tradition, it's called orature. Um, Walter Ong, uh, ah, I shouldn't bring up no academic thing, but I'm talking about the academics anyway. So anyway, so before we even, in other words, we were talking about reparations before Cali House wrote it down, or anybody wrote it down. We talking, we always talking about that stuff, okay? Just, uh, all right. Onwards. At least to 2017, right? Because we didn't have this accurate term of AD Western too, like basically around about 2017, right? You know, as, as you know, that's when and when when Yvette Cornell and Antonio Moore, you know, got together, you know, they was doing the Angela project, and they got together and they, they, they this is it, this is the name, it's the accurate description of the condition that we've been through, the accurate description of the lineage, you know, that's what happened. But you can ask them, you know, don't 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 mind me, I'm just, you know, it are invaluable in these claims of for our reparations. In other words, all the work that was done before 2007 is invaluable. That's what, that's what we did. You know, from, from, from when we were talking about it to start to be written down, a whole bunch of people wrote it down, da, da, da. In fact, let me tell you something. No, I'm not going to tell you that. Don't worry about that part. You'll find out for yourself. Okay? Academics and all other claimants should not be but hurt, but hurt, but hurt, quote, but hurt, close quote, quote, but hurt, end quote, <laughs> because an updated and more accurate term for coloreds, Negroes, blacks, African Americans, et al., ADOS is currently in use as an identifier for this grouping of peoples. Politics is an exchange, not a gift. That's what ATOS says. Politics is an exchange, not a gift. So I'm not like this paragraph is right. It's just on there, on there, on by itself. I just went through this whole thing like that, like that. Because now I come to the crux of the matter. We have been gifting the Democrat Party for 70 plus years. I put a question mark. 70 plus years? Yeah. Had to be since the, what got that guy, uh, FDR. 
And he became a, a you know, and then da, 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 da. too bad he got rid of that other guy, that Wallace guy, and brought Truman in. And Truman, and that, that messed up because then all of a sudden the CIA, you know, because the, the Dulles boys were whispering in Truman's ear and he didn't do what they said. You know, and everything got messed up with, when, when, when the CIA. So, they, you know, CIA, everybody thinks CIA was the SS. Yeah, 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 yeah. But they modeled themselves really after the British, you know what I mean? The MI, whoever, the, the British people. The British. The British are the ones that started apartheid. The British, and even, 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 the British, remember those British people, that's the slavery is the British in the United States and North America. I know you say the, the Spanish, but the, the British, the British, why we can't, what? I thought, never mind, I'm going off, let me, let me finish, there's only, I see there's only one more thing. This is what I'm going to do. Come November 2020, I should look up the date. You know, the first of Tuesday that we got to vote. I don't know what day it is. I will use my right in voting option, my right in voting option. Strategically alternating between, I'm going to hold this for a second, because we get this all the time. They say, well, you know, people die for your right to vote. That's right. The right to vote. They didn't die for making, I don't have to vote. They die for the right for me to vote. <laughs> the right to vote. <laughs> I don't want people to get that, you know? They didn't die to make me vote. They died for the right for me to vote or not vote. Me personally, I actually like to vote. I'm a voting junkie. You know what I mean? I mean, really, I got that. <laughs> I'm out of the country after tea ballot. I don't care where it is. You know, in fact, I, I here the thing is, you can vote now when you're 18. But when I was 18, you couldn't vote. In fact, I was in the military at the time. You know what I mean? And somebody said, "Hey, if the if the if, if the boys, you know, you know, uh, you know, and girls, you know, and they old enough to fight, they certainly old enough to vote." And so they changed the middle of my military service. That's when they gave us the right to vote. You know, so anyway. So I'm gonna use my right to. Plus, I used to I used to vote in New York. I love New York. When we vote that time, we had those machines go whoosh, you know, those levers. You you had the you had the curtain. You go in the curtain, right? And you and you push the lever, whoosh, that close the curtain, right? Then all the stuff coming, you have these levers and stuff like that, and you can click, 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 click. Then when you finish, you're like, okay, then you can whoosh, you know, and now open the curtain, and you was done, and the whole the ballot flip fall down by that. You know, one time I voted in New Jersey, and they had the here's what you used to had the curtain, right? They had a curtain, right? But if you had to write it, they had to they potentially had the, the the pencil on a string and would hang down below the below the curtain so they could see who's who was writing in. I'm writing all the time. And what I'm gonna do is is there's certain you know I'm gonna write in at certain points. Like for instance, whoever the Democrat, whoever the the, the, the well, I guess Biden and Trump. <laughs> Please, that's not my problem. Okay, that's. Whoever put them in, the, what, 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 was like white people and white women pulling, that's their problem. They're, they're them, you all deal with that. I'm voting down ballots because ADOS says we should vote down ballots. But there's a guy that called in. I got that. At first, I was, first, I was just going to write in ADOS. Then he got me to think. He said, no, you should write in ADOS101.com. See, like that. ADOS101.com. Right? Right? And well, I put the www in there because I don't want any mistake. He said, wait a second. Hey, brother, what's that under there? You say I'm alternating it with www.producejustice.com. Because there's a lot of categories. So like, for instance, I vote in Virginia. Like, there's somebody you know there's only one person running for an office. So you know that person's going to win. So why would you just click the, you know, whatever, with the Democrat, whatever. Yeah, you can just, they, have, they always have a write-in thing. I can just write in. ADOS101.com. That gets registered. It's like it's like a real poll. You know how they have to poll the exit poll? Psh, this is your ent this is your poll. It's not an entrance poll. It's not it's the poll. The, your vote is the poll. So that's what I'm trying to say is that what you should be doing is on these ballots, you know, especially when you vote something like like with a Democrat Republican, I'm gonna be right in president, you know, president and vice president is all hooked up. I write in ADOS101.com. Right, and then say, 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 for instance, I know whatever the senator is going to be the, you know, there's no op opposition, whatever. You know, or the polls, I won't go to polls. Say some other, I'll say, I'll put www.producejustice.com. So what's Produce Justice? Oh, look it up. Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. See, because what happens is uh, my personal code is Mr. Neely Fuller Jr.'s uh, Produce Justice, you know, the compensatory concept. 
kind of thing, the code, right? But my political head is ADUS for this little kind of thing here, you know? Everything else, she like my 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 background in, in in you know black power movement, black arts movement, and Pan Africanism. You know, Pan-Africanism. I got this from a Pan Africanist too. I, I wear this on my body, but my head right now is a D O S, right? And look, look. Let me put it this way: Don't, you're not supposed to be doing this for yourself. We're talking lineage here. No, you're doing it. See. My grand nephew, right? God, have me get up. Man. He's less than two years old. This is what you're doing it for. You selfish, you know, academics who are, oh, then we got to get rid of oh, fear Trump, fear Trump, and then we're going to hate Trump. Oh my gosh, we got to, please. Y'all are pathetic. When we, when we protest, when we took over schools, to get academics in. We don't want to get educated fools in there. We want thinkers. Thinkers. Not for a past moment, but for the moments. You understand? I mean, you know? So you all need to get off of your, your whatever and start thinking. You vote down ballot. You look at the judges. And you say, is this judge good or bad? Instead of keep on getting on, 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 on your little soapbox or your, your sponsored too by, you know, Sirius or whoever, your MMSBC, whatever the heck it is, you know what I mean? You should be taking that time to say, this is the strategy that we're using. Instead of trying to sheep herd these people, just vote, vote Biden, bit him in, bit him in, got this little guy here, bit him in, bit him in, bit him in, bit him in. That's what it sounds like to me. Back in the slave times. Trump, the clown, the clown. Hey, we're afraid of the clown. I'm a, I'm clown fearing. Let somebody else take care of that. Because even if the clown, whoever gets in, whether it's bit him in or the clown, down ballot. Because those people are going to have to neutralize this thing. That's a strategy. That's a tactic. Instead of this, vote, you got to vote this. You got to vote this. You got to, no. You got to have a strategy. What kind of academics are you? Don't even research. Come on. Get off it. Grow up. You see him? He put that fist up himself. He's got more integrity. He's got more revolutionary credentials than you. 